if I may share them. One of the ones I saw, actually one of the very common ones I'm seeing as I wander around, is I'm seeing something along these lines. Something like this. Something like this. No, no, I saw quite a bit as I walked around the first half of the class. Quite a bit of a bell-shaped bell distribution. Love it. Love it. Which would definitely have an average of about a 70, the median about the same. Now, the median is a little bit higher than the average, but you couldn't tell that from the bar. They would both be the same bar. So the mode also be the same. Beautiful. I saw, tell me your name right there. Caitlin. Caitlin, she had a very interesting one. It was, it was, you had a gap and then you had two bars like this. Is that right? Uh, yeah. I, let me take a quick look again. Oh, it's good. I like it though. She had, what was, how high was this one, Caitlin? Um, Ish. About like four, maybe like 12 or 13. Okay, good. So up here, and then you made this one drop down. Yeah. So like three. Yeah. And then what was your, what was your middle? It was higher. It was probably like uh, about 20. There we go. Beautiful. What was this guy? Um, about the, like maybe like 10. Okay. And then him? Down again? Like eight. Oh, cool. Seven. There you go. Excellent. Lagging. I like that. Definitely a different distribution. Nice it. Nice. And then I saw a bimodal one. God, it was you. No. Serenity. Oh, is wait. Not Jennifer. What's your name? Danielle. Danielle. I knew it had multiple letters in it somewhere. <laughs> well, with Jennifer is my wife's name. Go! What's yours look like? Bimodal? Was it the second? Hold up so I can see it. Love it. So we had kind of a little bit lower here, but then we had like kind of like this situation where they matched, and then it kind of started tailing off at the end here. And I know these numbers aren't going to exactly total to 63. That's not what I was after. I was after more of the overall shape. That's the kind of the three shapes that I saw predominantly. Predominantly. What did actually happen? That. Damn close with the bimodalness, yeah? Damn close. And this is why I always look at the graphs of results as well as the statistics. Because I can look at an average 7-1 and go, I am doing a freaking awesome job. And the median 78, that means I got a couple outliers because the average is lower than the median most likely. So I got some kids that are screwing off and not doing so well. And then I look at this and I go, oh, time out. Time out. I now have bimodal data. I've got a bunch of kids, a third of the class failed, and a third of the class got Bs. So I take a time out and I go, rather than what is statistics proving to me, what is statistics making me look at a different way? So what I had to do, first of all, I had to ask myself, is it even normal, is it even correct to talk about an average with this class or a median? Does it even make sense to talk about an average or a median when this is going on? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So what I then say is, okay, so what happened? So then the statistics are done talking to me at that point. I have to go back in and look at these 20 kids. And as it turned out, a bunch of them were in the process of dropping the class and really, they kind of checked out already. So they showed up for the exam, taking the exam and kind of just like, whatever. The other ones were misplaced. They were trying to survive in Math 95 when they should have been Math 60 or Math 20. So what we did was, we got them squared away. We got them either withdrawn, it was before week seven. So we got them withdrawn, got them out of the class before it hurt their, their GPA. And then I can remove those 20 kids and look at this, which then is what you're, actually you guys are even more skewed generally on your exams than that. But then it starts looking like a more normal distribution. So sometimes the stats will show you something else if you know what you're looking for. Pretty rad, huh? Cool stuff, it's cool stuff, it's cool stuff. So the mode is your friend. When you have multi-modes, nice job on the multi-modes, you guys. Nobody's ever pulled that before. It's always usually a bell curve. They assume a bell curve. So it's cool that you guys thought of doing the, the, the bimodal distribution. Cool? I'll get this stuff posted for you. There's a few other fun little anecdotal quotes about averages in this PowerPoint. We're out of time. Not a problem. You can look at it later if you want. Um, see? Lindsay, good to have you. Excellent. Excellent. Come wherever you can. We got some others. Right, 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 right. It's okay. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep yelling at you when we're here. <laughs> Good to have you. Start with me. Start with me. Um, so I put it in Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Like I said, every day by the hour, you should just sort them out and make more money that way. So, Terrible. Okay. I didn't drop it.
at about 445. Yeah. Sounds good. Dude, that's great. Perfect. Yeah. And then let this go. That's the part. You don't need to do it. Everything was for options. Well, no, don't do this every week. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. But let these go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You let it go. You can get the one for that. What's that There's one. You got nine more. You got two more next week. There's four on Friday. That was really nice. Well, that was nice. A bunch of people A bunch of people out. That's so good. That's so Excellent. If you can't find it, we can do it again. It's not a problem. It's probably one upstairs waiting for you. Okay, thanks. See you. 